Hi guys, Brown Asset Management here and today I'm doing a review of Apple, ticker AAPL and doing a stock review using my six simple steps. Please stick around to the end of the video if you want to see my thoughts on Apple in 2021 and whether it's a buy and also my valuation of the company. Please give a like once you've watched the video and if you've enjoyed it and subscribe if you enjoy investing in personal finance videos with stock reviews. Just a quick summary on Apple. Apple Inc. designs, manufactures and markets mobile communications and media devices, personal computers and portable digit music players. It provides products and services including the iPhone, the iPad, Mac, iPod, Apple Watch, Apple TV, its operating systems such as the iPhone OS, iOS, OS X and Watch OS, its cloud storage iCloud and its mobile payment service Apple Pay. The current market cap of Apple is $2.302 trillion, making it the largest company in the world. And I believe it was the first company to cross $2 trillion. Let's have a look at Apple's stock price over the last year. At the start of the year it was around $80 a share. At the lows of the pandemic, it hit $52 a share, rebounded very heavily to $135 a share, and then has fluctuated since then, but now finished at its all-time high at $140 a share. Now let's look at step one of my six simple steps, which is looking at the P-E ratio. We want this less than 20, as 20 is around the historical average of the stock market. So let's have a look what Apple's P-E ratio is. Apple's P-E ratio is 41.9, making it very, very high. So that is a bit of a worry and our first fail of the day. Now we're going to move over the financials and continue with the steps. The next step is, is the revenue increasing over the last five years? As you can see, Apple's revenue has gone from 215.64 billion to 274.51 billion. So that is a check mark there. Now on to step three, which is the profit increasing over the last five years. And the value we're looking at here is net income after taxes. The profit has gone from 45.69 billion to 57.41 billion. So that is a check mark there. Step four is, are the shares outstanding decreasing? and the shares have gone from 85.38 billion to 16.98 billion, but that is due to a four to one stock split. So the shares have actually gone down from 21.3 billion to 16.98 billion. So that is a check there. Apple are using their free cash flow to buy their shares back. Just want to say once again, thanks for watching the video. Give a like if you've enjoyed it. Uh, leave a comment on your current thoughts on Apple and can you subscribe if you enjoy investing and stock review videos. Step five is, is the current assets greater than the current liabilities? The current assets of Apple are 143.71 billion, whereas the current liabilities are 105.39 billion. So that is a check mark there. They can pay off all their current liabilities with their total assets. Just quickly, if we look to their total liabilities, this is 260 billion. So they could pay off a good chunk of that, which is a, a good point also. Step six is, is the free cash flow increasing over the last five years. To get the free cash flow, we take the cash from operating activities minus the capital expenditures. So five years ago, the free cash flow was 53.5 billion and that has increased to 73.36 billion. So a good check mark there. Apple has increased their free cash flow quite dramatically. The average free cash flow over the last five years for Apple is around 60, making the average price to free cash flow at around 38 and the most recent price to free cash flow at 32. So that is quite high. We do want them to be a little bit lower. Apple does pay a small dividend at 0.58%, which gives you an annual dividend at around 80 cents a share. The total of the dividend is about 14 billion with their 73 billion free cash flow. This dividend is very safe. The next dividend amount is estimated around 20 cents a share and the ex-dividend date is on the 5th of February 2021. So Interactive Brokers is out of date here. So if you want to buy your Apple shares, buy it before then to get the dividend. Now I'm going to look at some analyst ratings. The Refinitiv rankings have it at a target price at $134.51, which is a 4% decrease on the current price. 29 analysts are buying 8 holes into selling. And if we look at tip ranks, the average price target is at $134.71, which is a 3% downside with the majority of the analysts being bullish on Apple and bullish on the sector, though this price target is lower than the current price. Valuation from Simply Wall Street, they have a fair value at $83 a share, making it overvalued by 66%, which is quite a lot. So just to quickly summarize the six steps, was the P ratio less than 20? It wasn't, it was 42, so that's a fail. Is the revenue increasing over the last five years? It was a pass with 215 billion to 274 billion. The profit has also increased from 45 billion to 67 billion. Check mark there. Shares have decreased from 21 billion to 17 billion. Check again. Apple can pay off their current assets with their current liabilities, 143 billion to 105 billion. And the free cash flow has increased from 53 billion to 73 billion. So that is five passes and one fail for Apple. Do I think you should buy Apple in 2021? 
it is a interesting one but I do think it is a no at its current price I do think it is overpriced I have my valuation at around 1.5 to 1.8 trillion which will put it at between $90 and $108 a share so I'm not happy with this current price at 140 if there is pullback to that value I would definitely consider buying straight away because I think Apple is a good company it's got one of the biggest brands in the world and some anecdotal evidence people I know who have Apple are very happy with it and would not even consider transferring to another product so once again I would say this is a no if it gets around $90 to $108 a share I would definitely buy it at that value there now we're just going to quickly look at some of the technicals so here I have the chart of the last year I have the 50 day moving average in blue and the 200 day moving average in grey it still has very bullish movement as the shorter moving average is above the longer moving average there has been some resistance if it's been trying to break below the 50 moving average but it has kept consistently above it so of the technicals I would say it is is a buy you would follow this momentum thank you for watching my stock review of Apple please leave a like if you enjoyed the video leave a comment on your thoughts and subscribe if you enjoy investing and stock review videos thanks